Good evening. My name is Dr. John Cook, and I have the honor to serve as President of Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast Catholic High School. I'd like to thank you for joining us this evening as we solemnly celebrate the lives of those alumni, faculty, staff, and students who once walked our hallways and have since gone before us. Tonight's Mass is celebrated in our recently renovated chapel within our school and is a memorial of all those who have passed. As you will see, there are many of our brothers and sisters who have passed on to eternal life whose names we have listed. Tonight, we honor those, and we especially remember those who have gone on this past year. This year, like many things, our liturgy is limited to a few people because of the COVID-19 pandemic, so we are celebrating Mass virtually as well. A new tradition for sure as we plan to stream this special Mass annually moving forward, so no matter where you are in the world, you will be able to participate each and every year. Again, on behalf of our entire school community here at Bonner Prenti, we thank you again for joining us this evening, and we continue to pray for all those who have passed. Let us pray. Eternal rest granted unto them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. Thank you, and God bless.
good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Uh, this is uh, Mass is for uh, a memorial for our classmates who have passed away, okay? Um, I being of the class of 1957, uh, we have really lost a lot of our classmates, okay? Um, so I welcome you and thank you for attending. Who's there? Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table where saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. <clears throat> I welcome everyone to our newly renovated chapel here at Monsignor Bonner and Archbishop Prendergast High School. On behalf of our president, Dr. Cook, and our alumni advancement office, and of course, all the faculty and staff, and in particular, I wanna just a special greetings to Mrs. DeStefano, who is representing the alumni who also are on faculty here, along with Mr. Welsh, and of course, our own Deacon Rogers, who is a distinguished Bonner alum, who is not only a, a, a faculty member here, but also a clergy member uh, assigned here as well. So before we begin this beautiful celebration of remembrance of all our distinguished and deceased late alumni from Monsignor Bonner High School and Archbishop Prendergast High School, let us call to mind our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be gracious to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the grace of faith an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip 
went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said to Philip. When they heard it and saw the signs he was doing were unclean spirits crying out in a loud voice came out of many possessed people and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. This was a great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. you and with, with your spirit. spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to john glory to you, our lord jesus said to the crowds i am the bread of life whoever comes to me will never hunger and whoever believes in me will never thirst but i told you that although you have seen me you do not believe Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it up on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Good afternoon, once again. It's certainly an honor and a privilege to celebrate this mass for our deceased alumni, especially those 
who have died in the past year. I call to mind a very special someone of our community who has passed away in the past year. Of That's, of course, our beloved former president, Father Gus Esposito, my own former spiritual director for many years, since 1995, actually. And uh, his presence is certainly felt here at Bonner Prendy, and we are still praying for your family, Debbie, as uh, we, we all mourn Gus's passing. And we thank our distinguished alumni for helping us through everything that you have helped us through. I know I speak for Dr. Cook when I say that, that you have helped us through so much over the years. And I think Dr. Cook would want me to say, please keep it coming <laughs> because we still have a lot of work to do. And that's true. We still have a lot of work to do, but at the same time, it's also good to remember where we came from. And now, of course, I'm not just talking about Monsignor Bonner High School and Archbishop Prendergast High School, but I'm talking about back in the first century, which we just read in the Acts of the Apostles. See, it started, as Jesus reminded us this, the other Sunday, these things started in Jerusalem. And then it sprouted out. And now we hear that it's starting in Samaria. So the message of the gospel, of course, starts in the city of Jerusalem and spreads out and out and out and out and out. And eventually it found its way to Drexel Hill, Pennsylvania, in the form of Archbishop Prendergast High School for Boys for just a few years, right? And then, of course, Archbishop Prendergast High School for Girls and Monsignor High School for Boys. And that's how really the faith has developed here in Delaware County. And these two schools, those two magnificent schools now combined into one magnificent school is part of that tradition. It's part of how the church is living out that same message that Jesus is talking about in today's gospel. Jesus is talking about that he himself is the bread of life. And those who believe in him shall not perish. They shall have actual eternal life. And that's, of course, the entire mission of Bonner Prendy High School. It was in the beginning, in the 1950s. And of course, it is still the mission today. Albeit a little bit different, somewhat um, restricted because of COVID, but at the same time, it's still that same message, which we are so proud, at least we should all be so proud to proclaim today. Not just those of us who, who teach here or minister here, but those of you who have graduated already from here. And you are still part of that magnificent tradition. As I said in the beginning of this mass, there are some alums who are still teaching here, who are still ministering here. Mr. Walsh, Mr. McKenzie, Sister Kathleen Luby, Mr. Jack Muldoon, also the football coach, Mrs. DeStefano, Deacon Rogers, Mrs. Russo, and the list goes on and on and on. And we're certainly still that same family that we like to think we've always been. A little bit different. I know, speaking for Dr. Cook and I, you're welcome two guys, two kids from Northeast Philly, but uh, I think I fit in pretty well. I don't know, uh, doctor, I think I do. But at the same time, this is still that same gospel message. And it's appropriate that we gather at uh, the Eucharist to remember those who have gone before us, especially this past year. Uh, this past year where there's been a lot of suffering in many different aspects of the world and American life. It's appropriate that we celebrate the bread of life that is the true nourishment for the world. And ultimately, as I said before, the mission of bringing us all to eternal life.
for your goodness we have received this bread we offer for to be our worshiping in name to become for us the bread of life blessed be god forever blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer for to the body work of human hands to become our spiritual drink blessed be god forever Pray, brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and enter willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ should be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop his assistant bishops, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, your servants, our alumni, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they, who were united with your son in a death like his, may be also one with him in his resurrection. Remember also all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Augustine and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please stand. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The the power and the glory of yours, now Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The distribution of Holy Communion, I ask that you use the center aisle and come up the center aisle and return to your seats that way. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. We are one body, the body of one Christ. body in Christ, and we do not the stand alone. The body of Christ. We are one body, the body of Christ. one body in Christ, and he came that we might have life. For he tells us, when you eat my body and you drink my blood, I will live in you and you will live in my love. When you eat my body and you drink my blood, I will live in you and you will live in my love. We are one body, one body in Christ, and we do not stand alone. We are one body. One body in Christ, 
and he came that we might have life for he tells us can you hear them crying can you feel their pain do you feed my hungry will you help my lame see the unborn baby the forgotten one they are not forsaken they are not unloved we are one body one body in christ and we do not stand alone we are one body one body in christ and he came that we might have life i am the way the truth the life i am the final sacrifice i am the way the truth the life he who believes in me will have eternal life i am the way the truth the life i am the final sacrifice i am the way the truth the life he who believes in me will have eternal life savior that you might have life through the tears and sorrows through the toils and strife listen when i call you for i know your need come to me your shepherd for my flock i feed we are one body one body in christ and we do not stand alone we are one body one body in christ and he came that we might have life. Let us pray. Hear our Lord our prayers, that this most holy exchange, by which you have redeemed us, may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you so much for coming this, this afternoon and allowing us to be with you and, and to pray with you for our deceased alumni. I just want to point out that this chapel is almost 99% recycled from what was either the Archbishop Prendergast Chapel, including our vigil lamp stand, which is now our uh, Paschal candle stand, the altar, which was in this, this the Convent of the Sisters of St. Joseph, the Tabernacle, which was in the monastery, the Augustine Monastery, and of course the digital scans of the windows and our statuary, the Blessed Mother, the Sacred Heart, and the St. Joseph, and their pedestals were all taken from the Friendly Chapel and wood from the pews of the Friendly Chapel, all to renovate this beautiful chapel that we have here at Bonner Friendly. And again, that's because of the generosity of our alumni. So on behalf of the students, you know, thank you for, for making our chapel so beautiful. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I am searching for an answer. Restless in pursuit of what will give me meaning. I am looking for the truth. My life has moved on slowly. Though the years have swiftly flown, now I'm starting to discover what inside I've always known. That I'm coming home, coming home to peace, coming home to love, coming home, coming home to you. In my restless search for meaning. to realize that I'm always looking outward. 
so to love the image and the gift you've given me. tender voice you beckon me like the warm glow of a flame let me hear you on my journey let me hear you call my name all my questions will be answered when my faith has brought me through to accept your invitation to dwell in peace with you when you call me home coming home to peace